Hey y'all, it's Anna. I have just stumbled across a specimen of the black staining polypore. It is an edible mushroom. The Latin name for it is Meripolis sumstania. Um, it is oftentimes mistaken for hen of the woods, Graffola frondosa, and occasionally a uh, old chicken of the woods in the Lady Porus genus. So I'm out looking for hens and chickens and I found one of these. Uh, it is very old and gross, so I'm not going to be taking it with me, but I can certainly show you the distinguishing characteristics, so maybe if you find a fresher one, you can take it home and uh, eat some of it. So, um, like the uh, hen of the woods and also chicken of the woods, this is a mushroom that grows in a sort of, um, you know, polyporous fashion, meaning it has, uh, instead of... Uh, gills underneath it has a porous surface. That's where the uh, spores come from. It forms in this sort of uh, flowery arrangement. As you can see, this is a pretty big mushroom, probably about two pounds or so, if I could guess. Uh, the distinguishing traits of this, so besides the sort of like chicken of the woods gestalt, um, it is a whiter, sort of tan colored mushroom. And you'll also very frequently see this black bruising uh, on the edges, especially of older specimens. Um, and that is also a feature that you'll see uh, on the bottom. If you damage it, it will start to bruise up. It does take a little time for that to happen. So here's an example right here of a, a, the staining that you would see if you gathered one of these. So um, it's also got a lot of mold on it. I can smell it from here. It's really delightful. But the one part that I think is aesthetically appealing about this specimen in particular, you can really see these sort of uh, overlapping concentric growth zones of different areas of this mushroom that have sort of um, grown out into these leaves. So I'm a big fan of that. I also kind of like the burnt toast edges of this mushroom, but uh, nonetheless, I'm not going to bring it home with me. I guess some people have really uh, wonderful preparations for them. I usually think of this as a like consolation prize mushroom. Uh, in this case, not even that because it's just going to be bug food. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty common mushroom and it comes back uh, year to year. It is a wood decomposer. This one in particular is growing at the base of a mature oak tree, which is a really uh, typical growth pattern for them. So if you're out looking around at the base of Grandfather Oaks, you may well see one of these and uh, you should mark the spot and come back.